So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and there's a bunch of stuff happening this weekend. So first of all, we have an event called 1000 Cuts. This event consists of three different missions that are melee only and will reduce your energy down to 25. If you finish them though, you will get a Catalyst Blueprint for the first one, Reactor Blueprint for the second one, and a Machete Blueprint for the third one. Now, as I've said already, all three missions are melee only and all the enemies, with the exception of rollers, were run around with machetes. In addition to that, every mission will only spawn certain units, which is really good for farming. And all the enemies are melee, so the first mission only spawns scorpions, butchers, power fists and rollers. And you can see their drops on the screen right now, so if you need something or want something from them, you can just farm the event mission until you get what you need. And this mission is a 10 minute survival. The second mission is mobile defense and once again spawns scorpions, power fists and rollers, but it spawns arid butchers instead of the regular ones. And they have a different drop table, so once again their drops are on the screen right now. The third mission is an assassination and you have to fight a manic on steroids. This dude is pretty damn tough. But on the flip side, he has the standard manic drop table, so you can farm things like Ash and four riders here, which is really nice. Now, in addition to the manic boss, there will also be bileaves in here. Those are the dudes running around with jetki tags, but this time they run around with machetes. And once again, their drop table is on the screen right now. Now, the energy reduction isn't the best thing when it comes to farming, but you can still take necros with the spoil, so you desecrate with health instead of energy. And with the exception of the manic boss, the missions aren't too difficult. Although get ready to be dragged around all the bloody time by the stupid scorpions. That's actually the reason why I ran these missions with Valkyr. So I can do this. Oh, get over here, huh? How do you like that? Asshole! Frickin' uh, teabag time! How do you- oh, mother- So that's pretty much everything about the event. Let's check out what Barakatir brought from the Void this week. So he's on the Larunda Relay on Mercury on PC and damn, he has some really good stuff this week. So he has the Sons of Inneros blueprint, the Katir Sentinel Mask and a full set of the Slash based event mods. This is amazing, so Buscale, Fact Fuselage, Sweeping Serration and Maim. He also brought Primed Heavy Trauma as well as Prisma Sigil, Barakatir Noggle and Prisma Arrows. Now, this is pretty damn awesome because the price of the slash based event mods was getting ridiculous. I actually sold mine because they were just so damn expensive. And it's all because these mods have been unavailable in the game for a very long time. So it's really nice to see Barakatir bringing them back. And Primed Heavy Trauma is pretty useful as well because there is plenty of good melee weapons that have impact damage, like Jet Tag. And this is probably the first time that Barakatir brought something from the void and people are like, all right. It's good. It's confusing. People are happy with Barakatir. I don't know what to do. But anyway, before I end the video, I want to remind you that I'll be doing the 20k subscriber stream tomorrow for America and on Sunday for Europe. And I will post a very short video tomorrow, five hours before the stream starts, just to let you know that the stream starts in five hours. And I will do the same thing on Sunday for people in Europe as well. So that's it for the video. I thank you very much for watching once again. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.